This is gonna go right. Just staple it on. Here's my little happy thank you slip that came with my- As far as I know, is the cheapest anyone's ever bought a brand new turbo from eBay because it was- Hello uh, folks, welcome to 802 Garage. I got a bunch of friends here to help me with this unboxing today. This is my friend Tito, known for a long time. Nate, Jacob's friend. This is Steven from Car Simplify. Go check out his channel. And Jacob from Rust Belt Garage. Go check out his channel as well. Two of my faves. And this is my $500 Turbo Car Challenge car. The absolute pile of red junk. The 1996 Nissan 200 SX SER. Only redeeming quality is that it has an SR20. And I'm gonna turbocharge it with all this junk from eBay and China. So what I'm gonna do is have people pick out boxes, do unbox, they're gonna open it, say what it is if they know, and roughly put them in order of self-professed car knowledge, and then they're all gonna guess a price and I'm gonna tell them what it actually costs. <laughs> Since it is $500 max to spend on turbo, if you add it all up, it should be $500 more or less. We're gonna start with Tito. Tito, which one do you wanna open? I'll go with this one. It's nice, nice and close to me. Can I can have a, a cutting utensil, please. He's, start, he's starting with the good ones. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, I'm sure Jacob knows what it is. He's seen a few. Of I have no idea. He has no idea. Does anybody know what it is? I, I know opinion. what it is. Yeah. I got Based like on a... the size. I've actually only ever opened one of those. Oh, oh. Don't, 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 don't break your head upside down. It might be dangerous. Yep. Yeah. Just be a rattlesnake. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can gingerly. I mean, it was very cheap, so. Ooh, oh, oh, something. There's gloves. They gave you gloves. gloves. They gave you gloves. <laughs> Wait, did oh. the gloves add to the price? This looks like a turbo to me, I think. Ooh, yeah, we got right. the turbo. And Ten it came gloves. with gloves. That's beautiful. So you can handle it and not get fingerprints. And it came with- And bolts and- The flange and bolts. There's and some really cool Japanese thing going in here. I don't know. Thank you. It's very, very, thank you note. Very thank Oh yeah, I did, I got a little ice cream cone uh, thank you note. It's like something that I have. Oh, yeah. Pretty neat. I guess the gloves are just a courtesy gift. So, Tito, what do you think this turbocharger costs? This, this is a uh, T04E, T3 slash T4, bottom of the barrel, Chinese, choo choo boy. 75 bucks. Okay, Nate? Hundo. Hundo? 95. 95. Yes. You're, you're very close. Tito, right. I like your thinking, but you're a bit optimistic. $93, <laughs> which as far as I know, is the cheapest anyone's ever bought a brand new turbo from eBay because it was $94 and I managed to haggle them down. So $93 <laughs> for the turbo. Congrats on your haggling, man. Yeah, let me see that for a second. Nate, you can pick out a box and start a box. Not that, that, the whole thing. Well, turbo, give it a turbo ski. There you go. Oh, Nate, yeah, pick out a box. I'm going to go with a bag. I'm going to go with a bag. I'm going to go with a bag. This is a, very, a box. This is a very important package, I'll have you know. I'm being very difficult. Sarah, <laughs> I take this too. Right? Yeah, why not? Well, I think it was a turbo gasket, that's nice. What if they it's, 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 it's not a gasket. part, though. It's a shirt. Ooh, is it? What's it oh, say? It says, oh, it's fully spooled. Fully spooled. So my friend Jeff is fully spooled. I think he went, Nava, come. My dog is out here somewhere. Should we put it on the dog? Should we put it on the dog? <laughs> That'd be kind of amazing, I'm not gonna lie. But so my friend Jeff from the channel Fully Spooled sent me this shirt because he wants me to rep the merch. And it's one of my favorite channels. You should absolutely go check it out. Uh, he's got a Lexus drift car with an LS Space V8 in it. And also he's got a Patreon, go donate because he needs to rebuild the engine because it starved for oil and died and killed his drifting dreams. But this is also a really soft shirt. So go buy his merch if you want some sweet retro style merch. I'm just opening the turbo for fun because, because what you do, I have turbos. I'll give you, it's a little bit smaller than I expected. <laughs> it's micro. Apparently that's, not that's what apparently not. Apparently that's not what she said. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, looks good. I can't, I can't complain. It's shiny. It's Terpsky, it's coated in oil so it doesn't rust to hell. Blades look okay. Moving on, Didn't Steven, you get, oh, how much do you think the shirt costs? It was free. It was free. Cause guess the man. All right, uh, moving Trick on, question. Steven, pick a box. This one. No, come here, baby, come here. Hi, baby. Hi, darling. What you doing? Napa was also given by Foley's food for free. And I got this doggo. Boom, fully spooled. <laughs> Dude, so, wait, can we guess how much the dog cost? Uh, she was freedom. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> She's from the desert. She likes being out in the sun. What'd you get? Are Steve? we guessing what the farthest? No, nah, you can pull it out and just right. identify it. Ah. Loose gauge. No. With a, uh... uh, no. It is a gauge. Yep. <laughs> I actually know what this is. Finest quality as well. Because I've had one that looked 
Pretty darn close to it. Yeah, the same one. Is it key for me? Oil pressure gauge? Close. It's a fuel pressure regulator. Yeah, there it is. It's a fuel pressure regulator. How much does it cost, you know? Uh, it regulates fuel pressure, which is essential for a turbocharged engine because if it goes wrong, it'll blow up. <laughs> I don't know, 20 bucks. Nate? No idea. 16. <laughs> Steven? 40. Whew. 17.99. It was, I believe, 1476, Ooh, something right. like that. Right. Um, less than 15 bucks, just barely. Um, I got it in red. You'll notice that might be a theme going forward. Um, oh, take a pick a box. Phone. Pick a box. Pick a box. Pick a box. Give me the black one. Those are my favorite. What's in the box? So, in the, box? The, the box says it's terrible coil over sleeves. <laughs> Luckily, that's probably not what it box. is. Probably. Because I'm smarter than to spend my $500 budget on that junk. <laughs> Oh, oh, sick. These are the gauges. What are they? Oh, they are the finest. Sport JDM. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they are. Oh, yeah. You got these uh, extremely fancy oil low shift press. oil press. So you can oil press your oil into the engine. Oil. Fancy, fancy gauges. JDM Sport. You know, they actually, I mean, they don't look that bad, but like, that means nothing. <laughs> so good. Okay, so uh, all three of them, what do you think they cost, Tito? Total. Total, um, 75. Okay, Nate? I'm going 40. Okay, Steven? 30. Woo, geez, all three? <laughs> yeah. All right, Jacob? 60. Whew, Six, there's 62. Six, it's like 61.89 or something like that. So 20, 20 bucks a gauge, <laughs> which I may not use them all for budget's sake, but I have them, I got uh, oil pressure, boost, and narrow band air fuel ratio because your fuel ratio is essential for turbo, so buy a narrow band gauge that's crap. Um, <laughs> uh, Tito, pick a box. Um, go with this one. Uh, no. Pretty light. First turbo I ever bought, and I let somebody else unbox it. Such a nice guy. It's shiny. Pretty light, though. <laughs> oh, oh, like a, oh, it's oh, oh, oh. large. It's so good. <laughs> what, it's so light. What is um, it, Tito? I have no idea. It looks like a filter of some sort. Yeah, that's but, uh, just, yeah. An just an air filter. Yeah, pull it out. Pull it out of the bag. Ooh, yeah! Ooh. Look at how large it is. It's that beautiful. <laughs> I'm so in love with this thing. So, what do you think it costs? Do you know? 20 bucks. Uh, Nate? I'm going with a full $8. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! It's bigger than the hey, It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm, I'm in love. Uh, what did you guess? Eight? And then Steven? 14. 14, okay, and Jacob. 10. <laughs> 10. Oh, uh, Steven was pretty much dead on. I believe it was 14.98, something like that. All right. Next box. Who is it? Uh, Nate? Not sponsored by Arizona. Not sponsored <laughs> by Arizona, but I wish. Look at that nice little digital turbo, retro inspired logo. Seriously, I love the cool Look at the description. Let me actually look at Six year old oh, yeah. opening powers. <laughs> By the way, whoever guesses the, the most times right uh, gets a prize. <laughs> I haven't even tried to said what. Yeah, me neither, because I'm lying. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll give you an Arizona. I just wanted to raise the stage. <laughs> well, now that there's an Arizona at stake, I am keen. Oh, yeah. This is uh, like a, a box of many things. Fuel hose and accessories? Close. Oh, it's oil. Mm -hmm. Oil hose. Oil, oil oh. feed and return for the turbo. So that should include all the, like it's got some AN fittings for the return and it's AN to um, like NPT for the feed. So guess prices. The critical delivery of oil to the turbo, <laughs> Tito. How much does it cost? 40. Okay, Nate? It's got a lot of actually decent fittings. 25. All right. What do you think it costs, Corey? What's that? Uh, oil feed and return for a turbo. Oh, jeez. Jinx. <laughs> All right. Well, well, he doesn't know that the budget is 150. I mean, it was 1, 500. Um, Steven? No idea. Uh, 35. Jacob? 29.99. 29.99 is a pretty good guess. Oh, the price is right Andy, what do you here. think it costs? <laughs> Oil feed and return for a turbo. It's like a stainless line and then a braided line to... $27. Oh. That's... Ooh. Dang, it was wow. like, it was, I think it was 27.89. Wow. Woo! 
We got the guest superstar. Yeah, dead on. <laughs> All right. All right, uh, Steven Fox. Go for the small box. Steven, you're going to know what this is. Yep, you got a fuel pump here. Yeah, Kemso. Everybody should know what this costs. A but... strainer and some hardware. Yeah, it comes with all the stuff you need. Do you know? No idea. High flow fuel pump, critical delivery of fuel to the turbo or else your engine blows up. <laughs> Not to the turbo. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> Nate. I just bought one for 17. 340 so... liters. <laughs> <out. laughs> uh, I'm going with 17. I feel like you bought the same one for the MR2. Yes. <laughs> and I haven't watched that in like two years. Well, you're not a good fan. <laughs> <laughs> 25. Close. Jacob? Oh, uh, I remember the, I remember you saying the price of this thing is almost 20. It's, they're 30 bucks all the time. Ooh, 29, all the time. 29 98 every day, all day. Chemso fuel pumps, 340 liters per hour for everyone. <laughs> uh, who's next? Is it Jacob? I have no idea what the running total is. Maybe I'll put it on yes, screen or something that. in this video so that you guys know. We'll figure it out later. I think we're at somewhere like 200 and some bucks right now. Yeah. Ooh. You probably know what that is then. <laughs> also, Ever. just so you know, the 200 SX cost me $400, which I overpaid, but at least it has an SR20. And I'm going to be putting parts of almost oh. equal value under it to make it go fast. That is the finest quality cast log manifold I've ever seen. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, you've seen more of them than me. Just whip it out. Whip it out. Of the, whip it out. Whip, of it, out. whip it out, oh. Jacob. Whip it out. Whip then, it out. And then, and then we can Right start. on camera. They There's, come monetization. Monetization. There's hardware of some sort. <laughs> A gasket that almost certainly needs to be ported because the holes are like friggin' tiny. It's fine. <laughs> Everything is awesome. Well, that's Everything weird. Awesome. The wastegate's on the opposite side of the tree. Yeah, it's on the bottom. That's unusual. It's pretty cool though, right? That's close. I thought it was cool. Got a little rust on it already. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look that bad from here. No. Def definitely could use some porting. Yeah. I would uh, start it and let it blow some of the junk out before you put it through. Fair enough. So, Tito, what do you think this costs? A big hunk of cast iron. I don't know. Critical uh, delivery of exhaust gases to the turbo. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. Um, 80 bucks. A bad name? 81. <laughs> what the hell is this? It is happening. <laughs> I have no guess, so I had to. 45. <laughs> Jacob. 60. 54. So it's like, I think it was like 53.79 or something like that. Look at the wastegate portion of it. <laughs> hey, listen, they tried. They tried. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> it's at least, there's like a little bit of porting done on this thing. And by that, I mean, they just got rid of the casting flash, like barely. And then this is kind of sort of a circle. It maybe went a little too far right over there. There's a spot where you can tell they ground down. They didn't. Uh, some hangover on the. <laughs> they didn't bother to grind these uh, nubs off in the exhaust ports either. This surface looks fairly flat. That's kind of what counts. So, you know, overall, I'm not disappointed with my $54. But this, you know, will go underneath that and then actually will go on the engine like that. And the turbo ski goes, ow, I just cut myself on a turbine wheel. Turbo ski goes like that. Nice. Can I get it to sit like that? Maybe. There's like Legos. And then the hardware goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you assemble a turbo car. Hardware goes like this. Sick! We've almost got it done. Yes. All right, uh, who's next? Is it Tito? Tito? Is it? You uh, can open the box of the police pool shirt if you want to. I just uh, left okay, it okay. there. To so make sure that you all know to subscribe to police pool. Are these a color changing one? Those are the kind that aren't supposed to change color, but if you modulate the voltage to them, they do. Huh. That, yeah, so those, is that well, a feature? Yeah. <laughs> It's bizarre. So it's just the same gauges, but the one doesn't have a thing to modulate. The Actually, the total is going to be wrong without this, which we forgot to price, but it's like 678 just to get oil to go at a 90 degree. So, pain in the butt. Yeah. Right. I don't know if that's, uh... All right. I don't think you're going to guess this one, Tito, but. I don't think right. so either. I'll try. I'll give you a hint. It is related to the turbo and the exhaust, and it's critical. Um, nope. I, I know I Make up a name for it. It dumps oh, exhaust gas into the air. Pressure air. regulator modular. That's actually module. not that you know, far off. Okay, pressure <laughs> regulator module is like the best description I've heard of this, isn't that? <laughs> so. Because it is the wastegate, of course. So, yeah. wastegate, 
If you don't know, it relieves the exhaust gases before they go into the turbo so that your turbo doesn't slow up as much so you get less boost. So essentially yeah. a pressure regulator module. Yes. Beautiful. Right. <laughs> and it's nicely CNC'd and stuff, I guess, or something. Yeah, you got, you got the, the colors going. Yeah, everything's yeah. red, eh? Yeah, eh? Nice. What do you need to cost? Car. It's, uh, uh, yeah. I, um, I don't know, 50 bucks? Not bad, me. 43. I wish. Excuse me? 55. 48. It was 48. That's the one that I bought for my truck. 47, oh. 47. <laughs> yeah. It's actually yeah. bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is going to make it a pain in the bum to fit, but whatever. Right. I used to dump my hardware all over the... Oh wait, here, wait. I, can, I can't yeah, put that on the turbo, go. but... I, I can't put it where it's supposed to go, because this is actually going to go like that on the bottom of the turbo, but it can sit here majestically as though it belongs. It does look beautiful. Um, who's next? I am. I Nate. like the, the pretty box. All right. <laughs> I guess I could put the whole picture on. This is like the nicest thing that's going on the car, most Ooh. likely. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Try insert, uh, so I'll pick it up by the intakes. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Ooh, I probably can. And so, you know what this is, clearly? It's an intercooler? Yep. And it's a uh, bar and plate. Surprisingly. <laughs> there you go, he's doing the MCM. I'll, he's I'll try. He's playing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here, wait, hold on. You have the cap on. Again. Much, much better. <laughs> Enough. I don't want to edit all this. <laughs> anyway, all right, um, uh, so it's Tito guess. Oh my guess. There's a few little bent fins, nothing too bad. It's massive. It's big. It's large. It's more, let me see. It. It's got a serial number. It looks terrible, but it says B93592017080028. It almost said 802. It's a little crooked too. It's crooked? Oh, the serial number. The serial number. Dang, this thing is beefy. It's, it's got perfect. mounts on top and bottom. Actually, it has inserts for the threads. Yeah. Do they always is have it? it? Isn't it supposed no, to? No, I was like, I've seen them before. I thought before I've seen them just drill a little bit of them. Some don't have it. Anyway, it's supposed to. this is going to go right. Just you staple know. it on. You know? Right <laughs> you know? Okay, I thought I would have room for the intercooler. I don't know if I'll have room for this intercooler. No, I don't think so. There's tons of room behind this bumper, but I don't know about that. So, Tito, price? 80, 80 bucks. Thanks. It's like where I'm getting 95. Here. 120. Jeez. This is the bargain. The, bar the bargain. Ooh, Which means it'll leak. 56. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think there's 56.39 or something like that. Which usually the cheapest ones you can get are way smaller than this, and they're 60 bucks. This is like a weird listing that like I couldn't find it on eBay by conventional searches, but I like found it through Google. Oh. But it does exist. And it's probably the nicest looking thing on the car. I'll buy one when I get home. Right? I'll send you the link. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, somebody else say thanks. Who is it turn oh, to this? It's, it's, it's uh, a bubble rack. <laughs> that has to be my thumbnail. Just the, the turbo with that huge air filter. <laughs> a tiny chunk of blue. What? Very anticlimactic. Yep. It took him like five minutes to open this, folks. <laughs> oh, Just a uh, oh. splitter of some sort. Yeah. It's an oil pressure T, basically. It goes, Nissan uses British uh, standard pipe thread for their sensors. So this is a British, the B, a B, uh, SPT, whatever it is, BPT to friggin' BPT so that I can still use the factory oil pressure thing and then a T out so I can use the turbo feed and also my new oil pressure gauge. And it was like, you know, guess, quickly. Five bucks. Okay. Four ninety nine. <laughs> Seven bucks. Take your dollars. God, I wish. This thing was <laughs> 14 bucks. Ooh, oh, oh. Yeah, it was pricey. It was bad. I hit to the budget just to have all this stuff. Um, what's left? We got another big box. And then Jacob's turn. Is that bag open? Which one? Okay, we'll it's open that open. first. It's and then... worth this thing first? No, open first? the little one first because it's much less exciting. I was about to say, it's worth pointing out that that is for a uh, GMC or Chevrolet V8. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. Ah. So, 1999 to 2006. That, that's not a 1999 to 2006. It's no. also not a 5.3 or a 6.0. No, but it's fine. <laughs> What'd you get, Jacob? It's intercooler piping protection. It's <laughs> <laughs> made of rubber, right? Yes. Well, some go. Doesn't actually look that bad. Oh, it's like three ply, four ply. I mean, the inside is not as smooth as I've seen them, but it doesn't look like it'll fall apart. So this is a 2.5 inch to 2 inch coupler, I think. Basically, it's to go from 
something else. Do something else. Good. Good. See ya. Good. Five bucks. Eight. Seven. Nine. Eight. <laughs> I think I paid four fifty. Oh, it was somewhere between, it was up somewhere up. between four and six. I don't know. It's definitely four by at least. Four with a little bit of overhang for five. All right, last box. Um, screw you guys, I'm unboxing something. <laughs> there you go. Um, it should be eight pipes. I have 90 elbows, and then I have like some 45 elbows. It came with an like, F load of boots clamps. Um, and it also came with matching to the one that I bought because I need that reducer, silicone hose clamps, two 90s and six uh, straight throughs. They even look like they're probably made by the same factory, except these are definitely, actually no, they're made differently. These are like four layer, three layers of black and one of orange. That's like four layers of orange and one of black. These are definitely a little chintzier than that one, but uh, Tito, what do you think all this costs? Uh, 90 bucks. All right. Nate? 22. What? What? <laughs> Steven? 75. Uh, and Jacob? 60. You were, I think they were 76.99, something like that. They were definitely like right in the 70, 76 dollar range, so pretty good. Cool. And grand total, if you add this all up on screen, I believe my total with a budget of $500 is Four hundred and ninety-eight seventy-two, something like that. Which means I have no budget remaining. So if I missed anything or I have to fab things, I don't have an exhaust. Clearly, um, might have to skip a gauge or not run the air filter for the actual power runs because that'll give me a discount. Um, but yeah, that's what five hundred dollars worth of eBay turbo parts looks like. And I'll be honest, I'm not disappointed. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. The the turbo the intercooler piping looks pretty good. I mean, I don't know if any of it's dented in, I haven't checked, but you can see it's black um, and it's got uh, black and red couplers and the wastegate is red, the air filter is red, the, the um, what do you call those? Army and Navy, fittings. AN, thank you. I can remember the, the word, not the acronym. <laughs> Army Navy fittings, AN fittings are black and red. I got a theme for 500 bucks on a red and black car. I mean, the wheels are black for now. Um, yeah, so. Obviously, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed me having the guests on the show to keep <laughs> things interesting. And um, obviously stay tuned for the $500 Triple Car Challenge. And I will of course put links to all the other channels competing in the challenge in the description, in a pinned comment, anywhere else on any of my other videos. Just go go subscribe to all of them, it'll make their days. And we're having a lot of fun. We got nine channels competing total. Results come out uh, July 1st, and we're gonna have voting on July 1st when the videos come out for best cars in several categories, as well as the performance test. So please subscribe, stay tuned, follow the other channels, and thank you very much for watching 802 Garage's first unboxing with friends uh, game show where someone wins in Arizona, probably me. Um, <laughs> not sponsored by Arizona, but if any of you work for them, hit me up. It's my dream to have a car with a nice Arizona wrap on it. <laughs> Catch y'all soon. Does anybody have anything else to say? <laughs> Sick. Now I have to clean this up. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but this intercooler actually looks good inside too. Like it's just more thin distribution. There's a lot of fins. They're all um like corrugated. And uh so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this thing, especially for 56 bucks. See, look, serial number. Mine's so special. There's a, oh, it's got another serial. And that's the part number. BP inch, whatever. Yeah, and I was also saying, see, this has threaded like helicoil inserts in it that are steel in the aluminum. So this will be stronger than just having threaded aluminum, which is pretty ballin'. But that's a nice feature, right? It's crazy. All right, are you ready? I don't know, I guess. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> straight from China. <coughs> what? <laughs> oh yes, it's all straight from China. China. Uh, everybody has to talk loud. Give me your loud. How loud? Loud. Loud. Beautiful. Oh. You're all doing excellent. I hate you. <laughs> Shit. Um, all right. <clears throat> Fire is phone.
<laughs> I totally have an expensive DSLR that's like really classy for big YouTubers. Yeah. Hi, big YouTubes. Yes, hi, YouTube. <clears throat> Don't do it again. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Have my hair, motherfuckers. Anyways, okay. are we good, Steven? No, but you can go. <laughs> Wait till you actually need to talk. <laughs> I'm starting now. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, folks. <laughs> I can't. I, just, start the right I know you guys are gonna figure out. <laughs> hey, take six. You said this was low stress, all right? I don't know what you want from me. Here's my little happy thank you slip that came with my turbo. Welcome to my shop.